The U.S. women's soccer team is one step closer to World Cup victory. The all-star squad will defend its 2015 title against the Netherlands in the World Cup final on Sunday. So joining us now is one of the 23 superstars, defender Allie Krieger. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. So how are you and the team feeling as Sunday approaches? Oh, we're so excited um, to be in the World Cup final is an incredible feeling. It's so rewarding. You work your entire lives for this moment. So we, we can't be more excited to just continue this journey. It's one more game to go and we're so ready and prepared. What's it going to take to beat the Netherlands? I think just focusing most importantly on us and how we can exploit their weaknesses and use our strengths against them and um, focus really on our game and how we can perform at our best and making sure that everyone is 110 percent um, prepared and ready, recovered and rested because it will be a battle. It's the final. Um, you're here playing against the best of the best teams in the world, obviously against the European champions. It, it will be a battle, but we're so prepared and we just have to mentally just be, be focused and, and keep doing what we've been doing this entire tournament, which is just play together and, and be mentally ready. Did you feel that the game against England was a little too close for comfort? <laughs> that's the way it always is at the, at the highest stage. You know, you want to play against the best teams in the world because that's the most rewarding feeling in the end where you really feel like you've succeeded and you've beaten everyone and, and you are that best team. And I think we uh, encompass that through the entire tournament. We've proven ourselves time after time, game after game. We've had the toughest games. We've had the little amount of rest or the least amount of rest uh, compared to any other team. So I think um, we just have to continue to, to focus on, on ourselves and, and prepare for this game just like we, we do any other day. Do you know what the lineup is for Sunday? Do you know if you'll be playing? <laughs> no, no, we don't find out uh, until the day before, the night before. So uh, we're, we're not sure on that. But we all um, are prepared and ready to go, no matter whose name is called. And, and um, it takes it takes 23 to, to win this tournament and uh, to win this trophy and bring it home. So we're all very prepared. We're focused and, and encouraging each other, whoever is, is called upon that day. Got it. Um, has President Trump called to or tweeted to congratulate you guys yet? I honestly, after I had tweeted um, about that incident, I haven't really been on Twitter and focused on, on him at all. Um, and so I, I have no idea. Uh, more importantly, um, Barack, Obama, Barack Obama tweeted at us, which I definitely liked. So I saw that one. <laughs> Um, and I was really excited about that, and, and we all were as well. Speaking of what you put on Twitter, let me ask you about that. You tweeted at the president after the president had tweeted about Megan Rapinoe, basically saying that she should, quote, win before she talks. He didn't like that uh, what she was saying about some of her sort of means of protest, I guess. So then you tweeted, in regards to the president's tweet today, I know women who you cannot control or grope anger you, but I stand with Megan Rapino, who will sit this one out as well. I don't support the, this administration nor their fight against LGBTQ plus citizens, immigrants, and our most vulnerable. So when you say sit this one out, you meant that you would not go to the White House if invited. No, absolutely not. Um, I refuse to respect a man that warrants no respect. And, um, you know, I feel like staying silent, um, you know, at times can side with the oppressor. And I, I didn't want her to feel that she was, um, you know, kind of having to process this all alone because a lot of us do have those similar feelings. And I wanted to make sure um, as one of her close friends that, you know, she didn't feel that. And I feel like we're able to focus as women, it's funny, imagine that we can we can multitask um, on, on two things at once. And I think that it doesn't take a lot of mind space to go ahead and tweet something out that that's very important and and then just refocus, turn it off and refocus on on the job. Um, you know, and, and what we what we're doing here uh, is to win. So I, I refuse to. Um, you know, just sit back and, and watch kind of an abuser, a bully. Uh, uh, you know, uh, talk like that to my friend. And, um, you know, I support her uh, as a friend and I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, I said something yeah. that, that meant something to me and it was important to me. And, 
And yeah, that's why I did what I did. Well, meanwhile, you have gotten um, invitations from Congress also. Here is what uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said. <laughs> yeah. It may not be the White House, but we'd be happy to welcome um, Rapino and the entire team for a tour of the House of Representatives anytime they'd like. So do you, I mean, I know how you feel. You've been quite clear. Megan Rapino has as well. Do you think that your whole team would rather accept an invitation from Congress and go to the House of Representatives than the White House? Oh, you did? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I could say after this game, we could pack our bags and we'd be on our way. Um, but that's obviously not my choice. So we'd have to regroup and, and see what happens. But most importantly, we have this game on Sunday. We, we have to perform. We have to win. And then everything else will come after that. So one day at a time. Um, most importantly, we need to focus on this game. And, and then, uh, you know, things will obviously... Um, you know, come into play after that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alec, for your best of luck to you. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us on New Day. Thank we you. will be watching.